Okay, this is going to be different from my other videos. Um, I'm previewing a new screen capture program that I found. It is called, um, right here, uh, Microsoft Expression Encoder 4. Um, let me open that up. And it is a free download, and free is always good. And the reason I'm making this is because, um, um, of course, I went to YouTube to find some tutorials on how to use this thing. And um, I couldn't find one that was useful. Um, there's a few. Uh, but I think the ones that I saw, the problem was they were using Encoder 4 to show you how to use Encoder 4. And that was kind of limiting. I am using uh, my, old, my old screen capture, Screencast-O-Matic, to show you how to use my new screen capture, um, Encoder 4. Okay, so that being said, here's the toolbar. Um, there's, you know, audio showing you the levels. Um, you know, not, not much to show there. Uh, here, webcam. There's my cheap little webcam. And, whoop, where am I? Come on, there I am. Okay, how you doing? I think this is the first time I am appearing on Takata Science. Um, so how you doing? And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this microphone right here because you know it's probably better for your viewing pleasure, okay. And uh, the interesting thing is is that when you're recording, um, the the webcam doesn't show as you record. Uh, it'll only show when you get to the editing editing part, and I'll I'll show you that today. All right, um, here settings, <clears throat> and you know there's your camera. There I am again. Um, um, some tools for the different audio options that you have. Uh, you can change your hotkeys on your keyboard. Okay, I'll let you you know explore that when when you get a chance. And uh, why don't we go ahead and record? <clears throat> and here you have your um, your your screen area. So this is the area that you would be recording. Okay, <clears throat> and you could also go full screen. Okay, so why don't I adjust this? Let's put it like, uh, maybe like that. And the way I plan to use it is probably create maybe a, a PowerPoint and narrate over it, you know, if that's what you want to do. Uh, you know, I would uh, create pictures and bullet points to kind of talk to my class about and talk over it with some illustrations or, you know, whatever. And so I would just talk over it. Um, tell you what, why don't... In fact, why don't I just click record right now? So I'm recording. And here's my one beef with Encoder 4. So right now I click record on Encoder, and I'm currently uh, recording on the new screencast. And this is the area, area of the screen that I am recording. And my beef is, my problem with this, is I wish that it, it was more than just these four green corners. I would like it to be more um, apparent and you really show with you know bolder lines what I'm recording on the screen so you know I would click from here to here and narrate over it um, if you are a Khan Academy type youtuber then you might wanna <coughs> I would use my let's see use my drawing tool and this is the one I use smooth draw and let's see, why don't I grab my pen? And so again, my recording area is just those four corners, right? And I would write testing encoder four. And if you are going to use your webcam and like a lot of YouTubers do and they you know include their face, um, you know, of course, you would have to leave an open space uh, to keep in mind that somewhere on that screen you are going to include your webcam as you talk and illustrate. So, um, so I mean, there you go. Why don't we go ahead and stop uh, the screen capture on Encoder? So I'm going to stop it using that tool, and this is what shows up. So you get your tool toolbar again, and um, here are the videos that I made. Um, and you know what? I'm going to pause this real quick to make sure I open up the correct video. Uh, let me, okay, I'm back. Um, so here is the, 
um, the capture that I just created, and these are the previous ones that I made um, on, on other tries. So you select the capture that you want to use, and then you click Send to Encoder, which is the uh, video editor. And Encoder 4 pops up. And there's the video that I created. And the first thing you notice is that you know you don't see the entire screen. So you can come here and reduce it. Um, 66 and 2 thirds, that seems pretty good. And here's my webcam. And you can see it's pretty large, but you can reduce that. <clears throat> and you put it in any, any position you'd like, which is kind of cool. And so, um, just like any video editor, you have your play button. And you can see here that this is uh, this is the recording that I just made. Here I am on the webcam, and that's not me talking now. That is me talking to you about three minutes ago while I was creating this. And so let me drag this, and you can kind of fast forward and see what's going on. Here I am talking about the possible use of PowerPoint. Here I am talking about the possible use of um, using a drawing tool. All right, testing. Encoder 4, and you know, possibly placing placing your uh, picture in picture right there, like that, right? All right, and so there you have it. Okay, let me leave it like that. And again, I'm brand new to this. I don't know what all of these different um, different tools are and different options. So maybe as I learn, I can throw up some more tutorials. So there you have it. Um, Microsoft Encoder 4, Screencast, and, uh, and Video Editor. So pretty cool stuff. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, maybe I'll see you on another one if I make it.